give them something to to go for to to think about and you know okay i'll just do another page i'll just do another page that's that's what we want right? <laughs> that that so i'm seeing i'm i'm seeing seeing just response is very similar in how i got to uh that you, you got you got the audience to curse at him you know you get you find love and strangers <laughs> and you, say that and you, do, you find love and strangers but um um but that, that all said, that all said, no, I mean, that's, that's the, that, but that's what you go for, right? You, you're, sure. you're, you're trying to create, that's what we're doing. Like, like we, everything we do with story, like it doesn't really matter. Like the, the advertisement for stories, you, the news tells stories. Yeah. Or tell stories. Everything tells stories. Sure. So, so the challenge we have, no matter what kind of creator we are, is to get people to buy into our stories, what we're telling. Whatever yeah. that is, I, I'm writing about killer cupcakes in one story. I'm killing dragons in another story. I'm playing, sure. cro- I'm playing croquet in the labyrinth in another story. And it's yeah. really, like none of that, like none of that really matters. But like that's just me having fun. What matters though is what am I saying? What am I conveying in those stories? Right? Yeah. Right. Um, dra- the dragon player is about redemption. The the croquet game is a, is a, a an odd class. They're very fun. They're very fun one. Um, mm. and, and and the cupcake thing is, believe it or not, is about coming. It, it, it's the exploit of coming out of someone's comfort zone in, in different ways. It's just one of those. <laughs> I, 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 have, I have fun. That's just that's just how it is. I have fun. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and everybody, la- everybody listening to this right now or watching this is probably going, "What the fuck are you doing with a giant cupcake?" I don't know. <laughs> All right, but that's just, that, 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 that's the thing, right? The the, yeah. the the thing about um, the thing about uh, um, but again, ultimately, you can use any path you want, and it can be the most predictable path. The goal is mm-hmm. create a response. So, oh, true. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I, I gotta guess. I'm gonna ask this then. What's your hardest reaction? What's the hardest reaction you get in an audience? Like, what's the one you would love to get that's really, really hard for me to get? Hmm, good question. Um, I, mm, I think because I've written in such a, a varied genres, you, you have to think about what a reader that likes that genre um is expecting and then find something that will give them uh a surprise and make them question what you've written and how they're understanding the story i think that that's the that's the hard part you have to you have to make sure that they're engaged but also that they're gonna question where the story is going, uh, who's doing something within it. I think that's the hardest part. Yeah, I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll let you in on my dirty secret. This is what I go for. <laughs> um, um, that's an interesting one, Chad. You're going for fear. Fear is interesting. I would argue that the hardest thing to create in a story is pure joy. Right? Yeah. That's the, hardest, the hardest thing. Um, uh, that's a, and, and everybody should read Chet's quote here on, in, in my Twitch channel right now. I recognize terrorists, finest emotions, so I will try to terrorize the reader. But if I <laughs> cannot terrify, I will try to horrify. All right? But yeah. it's joy. Joy is the hardest. So what I'm going for, because I'm not going to, yeah. I've got like, consistent joy is right now still something I'm working on. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm trying to surprise, make you laugh, and make you Oh, cool. That, okay. That, that, like those are the, those are like when I write something, that's the, that's what I'm going for in that. Or if I make you laugh, um, uh, the secret to comedy is actually comedy is very, very, very. It a is very that, hard. It's very hard, but there is a formula to it. There, it, it's music. It's much like music. You find mm-hmm. the rhythm, you find right. the rhythm, and you can you can make people laugh. Like I yeah. cracked you up. I cracked you up. I'm, I'm, Plenty of times in this episode, and I haven't even been trying that hard. So, I mean, that's just that's just right. The, sure. the, the secret, the secret, like 
that's the thing. Like, this is who I'm comfortable being. That's what I'm going to project onto the page. Joy right. is super, joy is super, super, super hard. Because joy, joy is such a rare and precious thing. Because mm -hmm. me, I think it's not just, it's not even happiness. Happiness, you can be happy and elated in a moment. We Everybody knows what it feels like to feel triumphant. Yeah. But, okay, I, I Will Wheaton's one of my, believe it or not, one of my favorite writers. When he, his blog is really, really good, he writes joy. That's what he writes. He writes about things he yeah. doesn't have to sign. And, and it, it's not corny. It's not cheesy, right? Occasional dad joke, but that's okay. That that seems to be a cult <laughs> these days. It's these dad uh -huh. jokes, right? Yeah. But but he's talking about the joys he's had with his mm. life experiences. And to do okay. that in a way that's engaging, that doesn't make mm -hmm. a person go, that doesn't make uh, a person go, oh my God, this is so sappy and cheesy. And because it was, that's the hard part. Right, that it is, is yeah. so very hard because yeah, there's that point where it's like, yeah, this is mushy. That's why you like like romance, like like a love story, a good love story. Yeah, it's good that they're so addicting because there's that temptation because the line between amazing love story and and, and, and <sighs> attack of the clones is basically yeah. like the 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 dialogue hurt me. Listening to that because it doesn't it didn't sound real, right? It very very much so, right? Mm -hmm. Very 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 mm -hmm. much so. like like in, in terms of um, love story. That's why love story was a good one. It's amazing. The other one, the other things like that's why Romeo and Juliet, as, as strange as it is, as carried on to generation after generation, it's a love story that people understand. We we'll get it's family violence. Yeah. violence. It, it's it, it two people finding love in spite of the circumstances around each other, which kind mm -hmm. of creates a nice little underdog feel and fight and be that crazy in love thing. We've yeah. all been there. We've all been there. And that's a that's a very um it's very human. But it doesn't feel contrived. Other than the maybe the ending, right? Other than yeah. maybe the ending, it doesn't feel that contrived. It feels like something that could genuinely just happen, happen and, yeah. right, right and that's why it works um sure. right so that's like for me right the feeling like so again i'm not good enough to do that lovey I, i'm just not there and i know i'm not there <laughs> right? right so um right what where i am at is i can make you think i can distract mm -hmm. you i can surprise you i can make you laugh i can make yeah. you cry Right. I know how to do those things, right? Um, yeah. That is, a, that is a very interesting point, though, Wendy, now with, with absurdities, right? Mm -hmm. but, yes, taste is the challenge in comedy. Like everybody, everybody, but I, I, for me, here, here's my comedy example of a really good comedian that people take for granted, Peter Parker. Spider-Man okay. always cracks jokes when he's fighting crime. Here's the thing. <laughs> Not all of it, because he's nervous. He's scared, and so he's cracking jokes to keep himself awake and alert and, and keep himself sane so not thinking about well, the crazy crap, um, the crazy crap he's doing right now, right? Yeah. Now, here's the thing about Spider-Man, the reason why that works is it's really good. Not all of his jokes are funny. In fact, some of them are funny. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's true. That's true. If you read his dialogue, right? Oh, wow. It's really bad. They can be bad. The point is, right? It's like a tell, when you tell a story, you tell really, really good jokes. People did like get a plot line, which is what you want to yeah. do. A roller coaster. You feel that? Ha ha ha! Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> people are just into the ride, right? It's like a roller sure. coaster it's going up and down, up yeah. and down. So you yeah. get that wonderful point. Yeah. Of, you got people, you got everybody. It doesn't matter. And then eventually, people are laughing at your bad jokes too because it, it's gotten caught into the laughter and once you start laughing you can't stop terry pratt yeah, is great at sure. that terry pratt is great at that so okay. i'm going to re-ask the question now what are the emotions you were trying to convey in the story 